Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and I told you earlier today that this was going to be a deals day for game developers here on Game From Scratch, and I did not lie. First off, we started the day with the uh, tools bundle for Unity developers, and now we have a new Humble Bundle, the Game Creator Humble Bundle. Uh, it's definitely nice to see a new Humble. It's been about a month and a half since we've had one for game developers, and as always, when a new Humble Bundle comes out that is of interest to game developers, I buy it, let you know what we're dealing with, and today is no exception. So what we're looking at today is the Game Creator Humble Bundle bundle. So this one is a selection of things, mostly assets to be honest, but we've also got a couple of tools in here. We've got one pixel art tool and one uh, game engine that I've never actually covered on this channel, but I will going forward. So first off, we got the $1 tier or $1.35 Canadian, which by the way, used to be a buck fifty Canadian. So go Canadian dollar. Yay, we've gotten less crap. Anyways, what we've got here is a music pack, Tales of the Far East, a 2.5D character pack, 2.5D uh, character pieces, Volume 3. Uh, we've got sci-fi backgrounds. We've got the Seraph Circle Monster Pack Number 1. Uh, we've got the PV Games Sci-Fi Game Assets Graphics Pack. We've got the PV Games 2.5 character pieces, Volume 2. Uh, we have 2.5D character pieces, that is. Uh, we've got Tyler, Tyler Warren's RPG Battlers uh, Second 50 Monsters. That's a little weird in sentence. Uh, we've got the Horror City Sprite Pack Volume 1, and we've got Cyber Pop Interior Tiles. So you got a nice collection of uh, art assets, music stuff, etc., all into the $1 tier. Now, the way this goes, obviously, you've got various different tiers. This next one up is $20.42 Canadian. I'm guessing eh, $15 US. There you get the first tier, plus you also get the Japanese School Interior Game Assets Pack, the Battling Center Game Assets Pack, the Inspirational Music Pack Volume 1, the Seraph Circle Monster Pack number two, the RPG Battlers third 50 monsters. Once again, that is a very strange way of saying that. The RPG Battles fifth 50 monsters, Shades of Battle. Uh, the Horror City Sprite Pack Volume 2, the Forest uh, Graveyard Game Assets Pack, the Retro Music Pack, the 2.5D Character Pieces Volume 1 Pack, the RPG Battlers first 50 monsters, the Pixel Animation and Effects Pack. And then we jump up to the next tier, uh, which is not quite the, the the highest tier actually because normally there's actually three tiers for most humble bundles this one actually has four this one is 34 dollars canadian i don't even know what that is in us that's actually probably 20 bucks 25. Anyways, uh, this is the Train Station Game Assets Pack, the RPG Battlers 4th 50 Monsters. Once again, that is a very strange way of saying that. The RPG Battlers 6th 50 Monsters uh, Evolution, the Horror City Sewer and Factory Tiles, the Inspirational Music Pack Volume 2, the Badass Bosses Monsters Pack, the uh, Survivor Horror Music Mega Pack Volume 2, the 2.5D Medieval Buildings Volume 2, the Medieval Music Pack, the 2.5D Medieval Buildings Volume 1, the Sci-Fi Foes Monster Pack, the Japanese Urban Accessories Pack, the Creatures, um, Creature Feature SFX Music Pack, the Classical Adventure Music Pack, and the Kanagawa, Kanagawa, I have no idea, Game Assets Graphics Pack, and then we go to the final tier. I'm guessing this is $30 US, but pure on guess at this point, and this is where you get pretty much the top tier stuff. This is where you get the two programs I talked about earlier on. We Here we get the Omega Modern Graphics Pack, the Japanese Arcade Game Assets and Music Pack, the uh, Nightmares Music Pack, the Dragon's Den Resource Pack, the 001 Game Creator Game Engine. Of course, that is the one engine I was talking about. I have never covered it on this channel, to be honest, and I am intending to. So let me, guys, let me know if you guys are interested in a video specifically about the 001 Game Creator Pack. Uh, we got the Inspirational Volume 3 Music Pack, the Inspirational uh, Music Pack Volume 4, the Fantasy Beasts Monster Pack, the Madness Music Pack, the Mythos Reawakening Graphics Pack, the Grand Adventure Music Mega Pack, the 2.5D Monsters Demonium Infernium Pack, the Horror City Tile Pack, the Seraph Circle Monster Pack number 3, the 2.5D Nature Pack Volume 1, Pixel Mash, that is the software pixel application I mentioned earlier on from the company Neversoft, the makers of Silo. Um, and we've got the uh, PV Games Humble Bundle Exclusive Pack and the 16-bit Action Music Pack. Anything, if you're interested exactly what it is, click that link. You'll go there. Uh, high, These eight high-resolution battlers, great for front views, cutscenes, composite images, and more. So anything that you're interested in learning a little bit more about, click. you get details of what it is all about. Nice thing is everything is... Is hosted up on Humble. You can re-down anything uh, directly from their servers at your whim. 
Now you may be wondering about the license details. This comment down here is perhaps the most important thing. These assets are cleared for non-commercial and commercial use in your games and projects, but cannot be resold as standalone game assets. So basically that means you can make a game commercial or not commercial. You can ship these assets with it. What you just basically can't do is ship these assets as assets. So you can't publish them up to the Unity store or you can't host them on the Godot site for free. You can't host them on your own website as assets. You have to use them in a direct Derived work such as a game you have created quite reasonable on the whole um, yeah so that is basically it if you are uh, interested in anything here in specific do let me know a couple of details of stuff we looked at probably the one that people are most interested in is the 001 game creator um, the game engine has been out for quite a while. It gets updated all the time. So I think this guy's been around for over a decade. You can use it to make um, games for, as you can see, web, uh, desktop atmospheres in both major mobile platforms. It comes with things like a tile-based level editor, which kind of is nice because it goes with a lot of the assets we saw in this pack. By the way, none of the assets we saw today are tied to an individual game engine. So if you're using Unity, Unreal, Godot, uh, RPG Maker or 001 game creator, you can use these assets with them. So there's not a coupling, by the way. So these aren't 001 asset creator assets specifically. We get the 2D, 3D game development feature. So you actually get a level editor in there, uh, full 3D model, animation support, normal mapping, custom shader materials, and so on. Online and local multiplayer. The programming is done via this graphical or text scripting. And you can see an action there. It has a UI HUD designer. Definitely an interesting looking game engine. I'm gonna check it out, I think. But again, let me know specifically if you are interested in terms of value while this one is on steam consistently uh and it is $59 US or $68.99 Canadian uh, it is on sale periodically from um uh, you know, Black Friday, those kind of things. I think generally it's about 30% off. But even at the on-sale price, it would be substantially cheaper uh, to get it through this bundle, plus you're getting a ton of other assets in it. Now, the other piece of this bundle is Pixel Mash. This is a dynamic resolution pixel art an animation sprite editor. Uh, I actually did a video on this. It has been updated since, so I don't know how much it has been updated, uh, but it is sort of like an ASC sprite um, or I always say that one wrong. It's basically a pixel art creation tool. Uh, it is a commercial software. It's uh, 25 bucks, so it's not outrageously expensive. But as you can see, it is included in this bundle. Uh, so if you're looking at 25 bucks, you're almost looking at you get this program for free and, and all of the assets come with it. So it, it's a good deal on that level too. If you're interested in learning a bit more about Pixel Mash, again, this is a couple of years old and they have done a couple of updates since, uh, but this video is here. If that video is too out of date, please do let me know and I will consider updating that video during this um this bundle as well but anyways that is that so this is the what are we calling you again uh, game creator, yeah, game creator, humble game creator bundle. Again, a ton of assets, an absolute ton of assets from a variety of different people, both uh, sprites, two and a half D, uh, special effects, music, and so on. Quite a bit here. So if you don't have assets to go for your game yet, there's a good choice of, or a good selection of stuff here. The other nice thing is they're all from pretty much the same creator. So it's kind of volume one, volume two, volume three, volume four, volume five, etc. So you should get a good consistent art style between the various different assets sets that are available here. Uh, so if you are interested, uh, do be aware that when you get a Humble Bundle, you can decide how your money is allocated. You can have it go to charity, you can have it go uh, to the publisher, you can have it go to Humble, or you can have some of it go to support Game From Scratch, which if you do that, by the way, thank you very much by purchasing using the link down below. Again, uh, probably the stars of the show here are Pixel Mash here and the 001 Game Creator uh, game engine. I do also wonder if 001 Game Creator was named thusly because of the old school phone book trick so you want to be the first person in directory listings so what they go with 001 it's almost always going to be first and you, you laugh at that but apparently a lot of really large successful companies such as acorn um are there because they wanted to be before other companies such as apple in the phone book so that was a trick people used to do i'm kind of wondering if that's how game creator got its name anyways let me know what you're interested in stay tuned again i will probably do a video on 001 game creator specifically before this bundle is over so if you are on the fence but if you do have some specific questions about it that you would like to see me address in that video please do let me know and i will do the best that i can
And as always, what do you think of this bundle? Anything here for you? It's, a, it's an opportunity to grab a, an absolute ton of content. And there's a couple things. I do like the pixel art style of these uh, city tile packs, these various different ones all the way through here. Uh, but I haven't really gone through a lot of the rest of them yet to see... Uh, you know, what's what. But again, I do like these ones here. It's a variety of stuff from a variety of different creators. So uh, you're going to definitely get a mishmash, but I'd be interested in hearing what you've got to say. And again, any questions, let me know and I'll do my best to cover them. All right, that's it for now. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.